Hello guys, welcome back to The Bean and Sugar. This week, just like last week, we are going to make another savory food. And as you can guess from the title, we are going to make some cheesy croquette. If I pronounce that right. So I'm going to show you the ingredients step by step. But first we start with two potatoes. Um, you don't need to get off the skin. You just have to um, wash it with water and then brush any dirt that clings to it. Then the next step is to murder your potatoes. <laughs> So my weapon of choice is actually a fork and I'm just going to continuously stab the potatoes all around it and I'm going to do that to the other potato. Once you're done with that, get an aluminum foil and wrap your potatoes with it. Um, we are either going to bake or steam our potatoes. Uh, if you want to bake it, um, you actually bake it for around 30 to 40 minutes as for 100 Fahrenheit if you want to steam it. I'll tell you later how to know if your potatoes are ready. So just wrap it well. We do this just to keep in the moisture and it will cook the insides faster and not burn the skin. So I'm actually using a different type of equipment. It's like a it's called a kukan and it steam slash bakes my potatoes really nice and well. After 40 minutes and after 30 minutes of cooling it down, my potatoes are nice and soft. To know if your potatoes are ready, just insert your knife into the middle and if it um, penetrates smoothly, then it means that your potatoes are soft enough to be mashed. So with my fingers, I'm just gonna peel off the skin. We're not actually gonna use that. Um, just look at from just the color of the potatoes, you can see that it's really good as well. Once my potatoes are nice and naked, I'm just gonna get a bowl and transfer it there. And again, with a fork, I think the fork is an e the equipment that is very important in this croquet making. Um, I'm just gonna mash the potatoes. And since they're very soft and pliable, it's very easy to do this. But if you don't wanna do this, or if you're making a larger batch, you can use a food processor. So by this time, our potatoes are pretty much bland. So I'm just gonna add some peppers and onions to add some flavor to it, and then later on some seasonings. You can add some meat into your creation, your into your croquette, croquettes, croquette. Also, like some ground beef or um, chicken, ground chicken. It depends on you, but I think that the pepper and onion is a nice, bakey, basic start to it. So. This is, by the way, how you core your red peppers. So I want to cut my peppers and my onions into cubes just so that it meshes well with the mashed potatoes and I don't get big chunks of them. Once you're done with that, just dump it all in into your mashed potatoes. And the next thing that we need to do is to add in our seasoning. So I'm adding a pinch of nutmeg, salt, and pepper. So it really depends on your taste. So after every mixing, taste it. If it's okay, then you're ready to roll it. But let's not forget our last ingredients. It is a cheesy croquette, so you need to add some cheese. I'm using some quick melt cheddar. You can also use some mozzarella if you want. Now let's proceed the basic breading process. The basic breading process, you need to dip it in flour that I've just added some salt and pepper to it, then an egg and then your Japanese breadcrumbs. I like to use Japanese breadcrumbs for this. So you're just gonna shape your croquette into any shape that you want. I'm shaping it into a ball. You can also shape it into stars or into square or cylinders. It depends on you, but I really want it. So I'm going to use my left hand to handle the dry ingredients and I'm going to use my right hand for the wet ingredients so that I just don't have sticky fingers after the breading process. So you're going to shake off all the excess flour that sticks to it. And with my right hand, I'm going to dip it in the egg and coat it evenly. And again, taking care to 
remove the excess against the footprints to it. Lastly, the Japanese breadcrumbs. So this is it, you're done with the breading. But if you want to have a thicker coating, you can do a double coating. Just dip your um, croquette balls back into the egg and then back into the breadcrumbs. Since I'm making a round one, I want it to be thicker just so that it compensate, compensates with the mashed potatoes in the middle. So you're just gonna shape all your croquette with the balls like this and once it's done, you can prepare your pan. A quick tip to know if your pan is ready for deep frying is to insert a wooden, wooden stick into it and if it bubbles on the side, then it's ready. Just gonna cook it until it's golden brown on all sides. Once you're done, just let it drip off in a cooling bath. And that's it! The quick and easy way to make some cheesy croquettes. Let me just show you what it's in, how it looks like inside. It's soft and mashy on the inside, but then on the outside, it gives you this crispy exterior. Just a perfect combination of textures. I'm sure all potato lovers would love this. I hope you give it a try. Pair it up with some ranch and chili, and you got yourself a side dish. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel and click the thumbs up. Comment what you want to see next, and if you want to see the previous recipes, click on the pictures. Thanks for watching. Bye!